in previous video I have shown you how to select the records from your database using PHP MySQLi functions so the code was similar to this in our previous video and we are going to add a few more things into this to insert some data into this database so that we are going to add entry number five possibly six or seven just by using the code that pushes the query into our database so let's type in insert underscore row as our variable name and then mysqli to call for query and now we will insert into our table name test table and here I'm going to use number name age and location okay and the values are going to be variable number variable name variable age variable location with dollar sign here you can see at the end semicolon and now before this query statement I'm going to create my variables okay so okay now for number I'm going to use my SQLite's real escape string function so simply have single quote to cover this single double quote then call for my sql i to perform this real escape string okay and we have that function in here and then again I'm going to call for this single quote in which I'm going to add double quote okay here you can copy this for all your variables okay now we can add the number six oh let's check it here number should be five so let's start with five then let's add name some random name you can add then his age let's say 43 location random location now that we have added that we also need to think about error so let's add insert underscore row within our if condition and here let's echo row added if it adds and you can also call for inserted data okay else you can simply echo the error name okay simply go for my sequel error right now we can go ahead and execute our code here so it says duplicate entry for key primary so let's go ahead and check that if it's proper Okay, so it must be the previous error that remain as is so let's go ahead and refresh the page and it should add our data as fifth entry so it added at the bottom of the table with inserted data message as we added here and let's say if we try to add this once again we just refresh then it will try to say duplicate data or some other error 
but that error will be refreshed because of this MySQL calling for error. Okay. So let's refresh this and check. Okay, so it says duplicate entry five for key primary. So this is because of this else part being coded. Okay, so now we just have to change this to six and then we will refresh this and it will add into our table. Okay, so you can now pause the video and check out how we used insert query to add this content into our database okay so in order to understand this please follow along for this video from the starting video lecture which is basically php mysqli select records after the select records you'll have this code and then you can also write this insert row code on top of it to see how we did the same in this lecture okay in next lecture i will cover how to update the database for existing entries and after that we will see how to delete the content from database